Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be making my queso dip the old fashioned way before we had a microwave. Got my water in there. The double boiler set up. Some people use that. Yes, it's good. But I use this. This is just what I'm used to eating. And I take a can of this and typically would dump it in the 74 Hamilton Beach blender and grind it up a little finer. But I had made a batch of this not too long ago. And I'll make a small batch use approximately eight ounces of pasteurized processed cheese such as Velveeta or something similar so I'll, it takes a half a can of this and then to the eight ounces of the pasteurized processed cheese and then I'll get a container like this and freeze the other half of the can and next time I get ready to make it all I have to do is thaw it out it's already ground up and ready to go. Okay, this is the product I'm going to be using today. I got my official Velveeta type knife. And that's pretty close to eight ounces. So I have to put the camera down a minute and cut that off. Okay, get my handy kitchen scale out and see how close I got. A little bit over, but close enough. And then I'll just cut this up in cubes. It's ready to go in to the double boiler. And so on. And this will just chooch until it gets all melted and incorporated together. I'll stir it occasionally. And I found this little pepper out in the garden, so I'm going to go ahead and dice that up and put that into the mixture and the pepper is in and that's beginning to melt together and a little while later everything's all blended and melted together looking pretty good Now it's in its proper serving bowl, and I've got some corn chips to eat with it. So I'm going to snack on this for a little while. 